going 125, 70, 40, 90. And we're missing the other guy? Yeah, this little fellow. Who is he? Picard. Picard? So we're yeah. going to go look in the plushes nice. to see if we can and find it. We are at the DI Thrift Store, me and Don. We're going to go find some deals. Um, I'm excited. I haven't been here in a couple days. This is the best price thrift store here in Vegas, except maybe savers on a half off day if you're lucky. But uh, we're going to see what we can find. Lately, I've been starting out in the clothing section. It's been my favorite section lately. It looks like Kevin, the Commonwealth picker, donated a pair of pants here. Not quite enough holes, though. He usually, oh, he's got two pairs. Look at that. That's probably more his style right there. It's kind of weird to be here on a Black Friday. Back in the day, five, ten years ago, I would definitely be at a GameStop or a Walmart or a Target looking for deals, but those times have passed. I never really got into the going online and buying the deals, and there really are no deals anymore. The deals are gone. Unless you're here at the bins. I'm not at the bins. I was just at the bins. Here at the DI. Let's see if this is worth it. Probably not. Did you guys pay $8 for this? I'm not going to. Not worth it. This kind of caught my eye because it's stitched, guys. Like, it's got the uh, stitching on it. I never heard of this brand. I don't think it's that special. I see some listed on eBay for a bit. Don't think they'll go for that, but at three bucks, I'm gonna take a flyer on it. I think it'll do well. I learned from a J Ride about Tori Richard. Never seen the Honolulu tag, but at $6, I'm gonna take a shot at this. Looks pretty cool. I haven't looked it up, but I think it'll be worth picking up at that price. Here's another Tori Richard Honolulu one. What is this, $6 as well. It's a nice condition, always check that. I don't always remember to check, but these look pretty cool. We'll see how they do. Hello, future Carrie here. Let me put my glasses on so you take this seriously. I just looked up some of Tori Richards' Honolulu Hawaiian shirts, and they were worth picking up at six. I know not everybody likes that margin, six to about 15 to 25 is what I'm seeing them sell for. So I'm gonna ask probably around 20 to 25 a piece for those. Tory Richard is a new brand that I've kind of, I'd heard about in the ether for years and years. And then I talked with J-Ride and he talked more about them. So I don't think I'm going to lose. And that's important. I think it's good to take, it's not even a risk, but take educated buys so you can learn. And if I don't make a ton of profit on these in particular, I'm okay with that because it's about learning. In the future, I may find these Tory Richard Honolulu Hawaiian shirts for two or three bucks. And then I'll know I've sold them in the past in the 15 to $25 range, or maybe they end up selling for a little less. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go for it. I don't think I can lose and they're pretty dope. For whatever reason, I've been really into clothing lately, especially button ups, easy to ship. I dig it, I've gotten into it. I've been watching a lot of videos on it. Kind of like cards, simple to store, easy to ship. So I'm, I'm focusing on that and hats. I like hats a lot. I'm thinking that purple hat right there and orange might be Phoenix Suns. Nah, it's a generic. They do this a lot, guys, where they just put the team colors and the city name, but it's actually not officially like Lakers. So it's not gonna be worth anything. Be careful with those if you guys aren't already. Seahawks, mm, it's kind of generic. Five bucks too is a lot, but this is a 3930, which is the same style of hat I'm wearing. So I might pick this up. I like these kind of hats personally. But this caught my eye, LA Dodgers. I thought it might be a candle warmer. It is a Scentsy brand. Let's look this up. I'm not sure with the candle in there, if that hurts it or helps it, probably hurts it. But let me look this up. $8 might be too much, but let's check it out. Yes, it is good. This is good if it has the top, it's missing the lid. So without the lid, I'm gonna pass. But if it had the lid and I cleaned it up, like 30 to 60 bucks plus shipping. So I'm gonna pass though. I don't wanna deal with something that's incomplete. Find anything, Don? These. What are they? So oh, these, these, yes. Do we have the whole tree? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh man, what do these go for again? I forgot. Well, I think these are newer. Newer? At $1.50 a piece though, I think we'll do pretty good. Oh, you got this one too. Is this part of it? Oh, that's this one right here. Dude, that's not bad at all. That's kind of cool. This guy's broken though. Let me see how oh. much he goes for. Look at this. That looks vintage. Pretty cool. Dawn's doing good. She's already rated the plush and the toys. Did you already look at the toys? Yeah. Oh uh, man. Does it work, you said? I don't know, but this counts for asking. Let me see. Tilted. Eighty dollars is what they're asking. For that Dang. lot, and then this one's just for him. But his little signs broke off. I mean, I still think he'll sell. Yeah, I'll pick it up. I would pick it up. 
I would pick it up for sure. Those snowmen that were in Don's cart are Hallmark Christmas concert snowmen. You actually can get several different segments. We only had two segments there. I think there's four, maybe three, five segments. I'm not sure. If you get the whole tree and it works, they light up. Uh, they synchronize and stuff, and they could be worth like $100 plus for the complete set. We have to test all that, see if it works. But at the prices we're paying, which is roughly a dollar, they're worth picking up. You can sell them individually if they're working for like 10 to probably like $30 a piece. It's a really good pickup. Look out for that stuff. It's something you may overlook at the thrift store. Sadly, not all vintage is really worth it. This is cool. This is NFL, Indianapolis Colts. They're asking like $8 on it. There's somebody asking like 17. I honestly think this would be a tough sell. Nobody's really wearing these practice style jerseys right now. I'm gonna pass, but it's kind of cool to see it. This is probably late 80s, maybe 90s. I may be overpaying for this, $8, Peter Millar. It's just fun to find this stuff. We're gonna find out. I'm curious about this kind of stuff. I think at least 15 bucks, so I won't make a ton at the low end, but it might get a little bit more. I think part of doing this and getting more into clothing is just pushing myself, learning new brands and seeing how they sell. Back when I started reselling, I went to a local auction space and they had a lot of candles. So I got to learn a little bit about candles and reselling them. The two brands that did well for me, this is like a decade ago, so you guys can check to see if they're still good, was Yankee, obviously, and then Woodwick, which was kind of fancier. I don't know if they still sell. They probably are down a bit. They're probably newer brands. But there is a small market for candles if you want to deal with them. <laughs> the heck is that? But look. <laughs> Plays music? Yeah. What was it going for? Could you find anything I, out I on it? I just barely looked it up. I didn't find the exact one. So I'm going How much are they it. asking? It doesn't say, but I bet it's less than a dollar, probably a dollar fifty. Get it? Get it? Anything else cool? This is vintage Dream Wheels. Dream Wheels? It's very 19, 80s looking. Maybe 90s. I don't know. 1987. 87. There we go. It's got cracking, but I seen one on there, and it's a dollar fifty. Nice. Might be able to get about twenty. Cool. Just overlooking this hat right here, and the stitching on the sides all messed up. It was already kind of like a borderline pickup, so I'm gonna put it back. I don't want to deal with it. It's going 125, 70, 40, 90. And we're missing the other guy. Yeah, this little fellow. Who is he? A card. Picard. So we're yeah. gonna go look in the plushes nice. to see if we can and find it. Can find awesome. It. Let's go. Wish us luck, guys. Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can find it. The small little Picard. It's like a needle in a haystack, Don. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find it. What do you think the chances are? Can we just put another plush in there? Pretend it's Picard. <laughs> like the bunny. This guy. Here we go. Let's do Batman. No one will notice. <laughs> Picard. 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 You find it? Where are we going? Where do you think you're going to find it? Back in that section? Let's hope, guys. I don't have a lot of... I don't think we're going to find it, Don. I'm going to be honest. So is this where you found the initial spaceship? Over there. Yeah. All right. It could be anywhere. Oh, my gosh. Just too much pressure, Don. How about this guy? Nope. No one will notice. That one, that one was gross, the one I just touched. Don't touch that one. Is it in the Ryan's World refrigerator? Oh, that's that's gnarly. <laughs> What's going on? Twerking. <laughs> Twerking. Have we given up on the search yet? Yeah. You're doing a TikTok now? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Right oh, you did? And this guy was hanging out like this. Oh. And then I thought, oh, well, he fell in. And then I was like, I thought, eh, this ain't worth anything. I thought, nah, it's Hallmark. These are those itsy bitty thingies or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. And then That's, I it up. It's a little insider baseball. Sometimes we have to recreate the moment. Should we share that, Don? <laughs> Contrary to popular belief or unpopular belief, we're not filming every second we're picking. So sometimes we find something and we wanna kind of show the moment. So we have to recreate it. Don, I feel like back in the day when we did chairs and stuff, this would have been decent. This is like Aristocrat Wells chair company. It's in really nice condition, 35 bucks, but we don't have a shop anymore. I know, it looks dope. It's got, look, I don't know if they reupholstered this, but it looks nice. I think they did reupholster it, but this is definitely like 60s, I'd say, maybe 70s. Pretty dope, I'm sure it has value. I don't deal with big stuff like that anymore. So Don, you were just saying, outside of the clothes, all the plushes, all the smalls were a dollar a piece? Yeah, even those little light-up snowmen that could be about 50 bucks each, a dollar each. Dang. So we scored big on that. She was saying it might be because of Black Friday. There's usually not deals like that on 
on Black Friday at the DI, but we'll take it if they'll give it. I say this all the time. It's not attributed to me, but I'm going to take credit for it. You make the money in the buy, guys. At a dollar a piece, we pretty much cannot lose on that stuff. The clothing, it's, it's possible, but the dollar a piece on the snowman stuff and the plush stuff, we're going to do well. We could put it through whatnot and make a profit there as well. We appreciate you all watching, and we'll check you next time.